of plastics has brought us waterproof wrapping for food, non-stick frying pans, high-quality medical equipment, and ultimately revolutionized our world with cell phones and computers. But the age of plastic has also brought us polluted rivers, huge rubbish dumps and two islands of plastic waste in the Pacific Ocean the size of France. Ever wondered how we managed without plastic? Well, back then your shopping was put in paper bags or a wicker basket, your houses were built from wood, stone, sand and straw, while your shoes and clothes were made from leather, wool, silk or cotton. These materials such as wood, straw, leather, cotton, silk come from life and so can be eaten by living things, making them biodegradable, which means that they are the food for fungi and bacteria and get recycled as part of the life cycle. Unfortunately, things have taken a turn for the worst as a result of plastic pollution. It has become a global crisis of which our planet is a prisoner. Because we have invented this throwaway culture, we now deal with environmental health and social issues. Face the facts. 1. 99% of all plastics are made from fossil fuels, the driving force behind the climate crisis. Some fossil fuels are extracted, burned and processed to create polymers, aka plastic, that are super durable but cause enormous environmental problems when thrown away. Did you know however huge amounts of fuel has to be burnt to provide the energy for their manufacture, adding greenhouse gases to our atmosphere? With increased plastic production, we will ensure that the plastic waste pollution is doubled in 2050, from the current estimated 450 million tonnes. Did you know that UK alone contributes 800,000 tonnes of plastic waste per year just from food retailers? 2. Vector-borne diseases such as malaria or Japanese encephalitis, transmitted by mosquitoes, are responsible for increased disease risk factors as a result of single-use and other plastic waste which traps water and allows the insects to breed. Plastic waste blocks sewage systems in less developed countries with poor solid waste management systems. This is a major social injustice that impacts black, brown and indigenous communities disproportionately because these communities are the world's plastic emission hotspots. 3. As plastic is discarded, it is carried by wind through the air and ends up in our water systems. This finds its way into our municipal drinking waters and rivers, which act like conveyor belts for boatloads of plastic waste transported into our oceans. Marine life is severely and predominantly affected by plastic pollution when plastic fragments are eaten by organisms thinking it is food. The results of this is that future generations of marine life and seafood industries will be destroyed. Ever heard of plasticosis? Well, this is a new disease found in seabirds and stems from microplastics causing inflammation in the digestive tract. This means that with the increased plastic production and disposal thereof, it is reasonable to anticipate more species suffering diseases caused by plastic. Here is the problem. We are not recycling our waste in the way natural ecosystems do. The things we make are made of a whole range of different materials, even when we have sorted out the plastics from everything else. There are many varieties of plastics which all need separate recycling processes. Let's have a look at the solutions. 1. Replace plastic. Packaging, bags, bottles, wrapping, etc. With sustainable alternatives which are biodegradable, like items made from plants. 2. Cook at home. Reduce takeaway containers, plastic cutlery and condiment packets from ending up in the rivers and oceans. Recycle as much as you can to reduce the chances that things are carelessly thrown away. Beauty hacks, swap to shampoo and conditioner bars, benefit from bamboo toothbrushes and opt for items that are refillable. Save our planet, your choice, your change.